So we're at Mallory Park for a track day with no limits. Here with my mate Ali. He's got his uh, GSXR 750, new track bike to him. He's got his tyre warmers on some uh, BSB Super Quarter scrubs. And I've got my Street Triple. No tyre warmers on some uh, Rosso Corsa 2s, so they're not quite as uh, track focused, but they're holding up alright. And the chicken strips are disappearing slowly. Hopefully, we won't be going in there. This is uh, intermediates out now. About to make our way out onto the Mallory Park circuit. And here's my mate Ali overtaking in style. Here's also my favourite part of the track hard on the brakes down into a really tight hairpin. Perfect place to practice getting your knee down. And then a flip flop through a right left right chicane. and down onto the start finish straight which is followed up by a really fast right hand corner called Gerrard's. This video is going to be some of my highlights from the first three sessions in the novice group of a no limits track day. In my next video I'm going to show you some complete laps with my running commentary so you can get a real good idea for Mallory Park and the twists and turns through the circuit. If you're enjoying this video, please like and subscribe and click the bell icon. This will keep you up to date with all of my motorcycle adventures. Now if you're thinking of doing a track day, it really can be quite nerve wracking, especially in the build up to your first day out on track. My advice is honestly, bite the bullet and go for it. Everybody's super respectful and I've never felt a risk of people passing too close or trying to uh, take out my front tyre. We've just seen one of the No Limits instructors there pass me. These guys are really great and it's my advice to get in early and, and book a one-to-one -one session with one of these instructors. They've got so much knowledge to pass on and it's free as part of the track day experience. The only issue is there's only two or three instructors on track for the day so you need to get in there early and, and book yourself a session because there's obviously not enough instructors to go round for everybody to have a one-to-one -one session. The session I did, uh, we went out on track and I followed the instructor round for a few laps so I could see his lines and uh, you know the, the perfect way through the uh, various corners. And then they let you overtake and they observe your track riding style, uh, your body positioning and your lines and then to finish the session off my instructor overtook me and uh, tapped his saddle for me to try and stick to his rear wheel much harder uh, than I thought it was going to be and easier said than done I found that throughout the day my um, lap times and my speed was gradually increasing and I'd say I'd I'd put myself around middle or lower middle of the group. So plenty of people overtaking me, but also plenty of opportunities to overtake and really um, stretch the legs of my Street Triple 675. Another thing that's worth mentioning, if you're going to maybe your first track day and you're taking your pride and joy out on track, there are plenty of options out there for track day insurance which will enable you to push yourself and your bike slightly closer to the limits than maybe you would have done if you didn't have that insurance to protect you in the instance of you dropping the bike or sending it into a trip into the kitty litter or the grass. So a few top tips for um, going to your first track day, I'd say get, get there early. Um, one benefit of that is obviously you get to speak to the instructors and book yourself a session. Another benefit is you 
get yourself potentially um, well at Mallory Park you, there's an option to uh, get yourself a paddock to park up your bike and on hot days keep yourself out of the sun the third and final thing about getting in there early is you would be really surprised how much time just melts away in the morning before your first session getting your uh, sound um, test done to make sure your bike isn't too loud for going out on track having your, your morning briefing safety briefing before you go out but also getting yourself into your leathers and making sure your tire pressures are correct for track riding i also love seeing all these beautiful bikes and uh, you know real special track bikes out on track but by all means you do not need to have a super fast super bike to go out on track just bring what you've got there's plenty of bikes like um, you know cb 500s fc sv 650s and obviously i'm on a, on a fully um, set up sports bike i'm on a, a road fairing uh, street triple there you go there's one example of cb 500 which i believe have their own class in uh, in no limits for, for um, race meets. So I've just overtaken this CB500 and unbeknownst to me, he's doing a really good job of sticking to my rear tyre. And in fact, I think he almost overtakes me here on the inside. He does a fantastic job of keeping up with me through these chicanes. But then unfortunately for him, the CB500 just isn't quite matched to the, uh, the street triples power down this straight. Now I've got to say, this track day for me was definitely the one where I learned the most. I really felt my track riding um, skill improving. My lean angles were getting um, much better. I was carrying much more speed into the corners. And I feel that honestly, after going out on track, my road riding skill is greatly improved. At the end of your session, you come into the paddock, um, into the pit lane, where there's a speed limit of 30 miles an hour. And then back into the paddock. And we were lucky enough to be right next door to the No Limits track day instructors. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe.